historically, routine information on causes of death has been absolutely transformative for health in high-income countries. I'll just give you three examples. In 1930s, there was a colossal increase in lung cancer death rates among men that was recorded from the routine statistics in the United Kingdom and in Canada and as well as in the US. And that led to an investigation as to why there was this colossal increase in routinely registered lung cancer deaths. And that led to the identification of smoking as one of the major hazards and eventually has led to a uh, concerted effort to reduce smoking and by some measures that saved something like 9 million lives in the US alone. The second example is a more immediate one. In uh, 1980s, there was an outbreak of strange deaths among young men in San Francisco. And this was picked up through the routine death registration system that had information on causes of death. And that led to the identification of HIV AIDS, first in uh, African uh, or first in uh, American men, but then also in Africa and heralded the onset of the global epidemic. It identified an infectious cause by studying uh, routine deaths that again were registered. And the third example is um, a negative one, but worth bearing in mind. In the uh, swine flu uh, scare that occurred just a few years ago, uh, Mexico did not have appropriate routine statistics to be able to judge that deaths that were occurring were uh, in fact in people infected were not because of that um, because of that infection and this led to a worldwide um, panic basically about a big pandemic had the data been of better quality the world would have actually avoided a lot of uh, these concerns. So uh, absolutely, routine death statistics have identified um, the important conditions. They've identified new uh, conditions like AIDS or uh, in other cases. Uh, they have been useful um, in tracking successes like we've had for tuberculosis control or for reductions in childhood mortality. So counting the dead and describing causes is absolutely a crucial function.